Hello Headway fans. Well, uh, today we're going to cover this navigation colors issues. And I've got uh, my selected here is yellow and uh, hover is red. And I've got uh, submenus uh, as green if they're not selected. And um, so uh, let's uh, go ahead and click on, and they also hover as red. And notice I've got the parent uh, showing up as orange when I click on it and at the moment this submenu is yellow but look what happens when I pick this submenu this is a these are blog posts these are pages so that's a page and when I select a blog post if it ever loads there we go with my wonderful connection you'll notice that I have its selector showing is uh, light gray instead of the yellow that we had over there okay plus its parent is turning orange also I have this parent turning this this one turning orange this is turning orange because it is the a category what's called a category link or category menu item click on it and it shows you a category archives and I have it so that if I'm actually on a page that is in that category it turns orange okay and uh, it just happens that the this also this is also a parent of it because it's a parent of it in these sub menus okay so that's why that's also turning orange okay so how do you do all of these kinds of things well first of all in your visual editor make life easier on yourself and select your navigation block go to config and give it a name. I gave mine test navigation colors in camel case there. So you'll notice that all the code, most of the code that I've included on the page has that. You can use block numbers. This is block number 13. But uh, when you do blocks, it can be a problem because if you ever remove the block and you mirrored the block in order to make it, you, you don't have a class anymore that you can copy from, especially if you use the visual editor. But, uh, or if you, even if you did it in live CSS. But here we have, you ignore the test widget stuff. Here we have the code. And you notice I had to append important on the end in order to overcome some defaults, okay? And uh, where did I get this code? Well, WordPress actually gives it to you when you click on something. So let's go take a look at the actual page. And I'm going to do a um, control U to bring up the source code. And here I have all of this information. And this right here, this is the uh, selected item right at the moment. And look at all this code. It's a quite a long item. And uh, an important thing to note is that we now have several new classes that whenever you select something, we have menu type post versus menu type page and menu type, um, oh, I'm sorry, menu object type post. And you also have menu object page and menu object category for that category link, okay? So those are important. Um, we have current menu item is a class you can call. Um, you have current the current menu ancestor. Remember this, this one here, this is the current menu item and that is what's highlighted under here in gray. Whereas this one is the current menu ancestor. It's also the current menu parent. And it's the current page parent. Well, all of these classes can be called upon and the current page ancestor <laughs> so you can use these these as new classes that you can call up in your css and give colors to so you see examples that i've given but i've just taught you how to fish rather than just fed you a fish and uh, this is where you actually get these various um classes from okay so likewise if i'm looking at this and it's been selected control u look at scroll on down to where that category is and this is the category, see, the menu object category. And here's the um, current menu item is what it's called. And, uh, but when I select one of its kids here, it changes even more so. And that's where it turns orange. And now you look at that current post ancestor, current menu parent, current post parent. These are all things that I can now give a class to. Okay, well, I hope that's helpful with the code. Ask questions if you have any. Bye.